Howdy everyone, so I wanted to make a quick video on getting started with 4Coder. If you don't know what 4Coder is, by the author's own uh, declaration, 4Coder is a modern text editor based loosely on Emacs. The primary goal of 4Coder is to maximize the power and ease of customization. 4Coder also places high priority on performance and portability. So uh, I wanted to check this out and uh, create a quick starting your first project guide as somebody that um, isn't too familiar with Emacs. I've mostly used Vim in the past and other text editors. Um, this was sort of a learning process for me. So uh, thankfully Ryan from Handmade Network, thank you Ryan, uh, showed me a little bit and then I figured out the rest myself. So I wanted to make a quick getting started guide for anybody looking to get started with 4Coder for the first time. So when you download 4Coder and you unzip it, you're going to get this little uh, lightweight directory here. Very nice. Uh, go ahead and launch the program. Starts up nice and quick. I'll put this in the middle of my screen and even zoom in um, to make this nice and readable for the folks watching at home. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create a new project directory. All right, so in order to do that, Alt X is pulls up the command list and we can say query make directory query and what that does is um, I believe it checks if a directory exists and if not it makes one so we can make directory query and it says in the current um, directory that we're in right here you can see uh, go ahead and type hello world and that created a new directory so now we can go ahead and hit control O and navigate to that directory hello world and start making our initial files so the first thing I like to do is make a source file directory where all of our source files are going to be um, in this case, we're going to write the simple program in C. So we can go ahead and hit, um, we're going to make another directory query actually. So Alt X um, and then make directory query. Good. And then we can go ahead and say source. Enter. Good. So now we're going to open that source file. You see it's there. Go ahead and enter it. And then we're going to do Control N for new file and then main.c. And that takes us into main.c. So we're just going to create a a simple program here so include stdio.h like very basic stuff in main uh, void and then printf we've all seen this one before hello world new line uh, and then return zero program success so that's good so control s saves all right, and we can go ahead and back out of there. So control O for open again, and we just back on out. And now we need to create three more files to run this program and, and set the uh, compilation rules and stuff. So the first thing that we need to make is a four coder project file. And uh, by default, I believe that file name is four coder dot, or project dot four coder, excuse me. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and um, now that we're in the parent directory here at hello world control n for new file and we're going to go ahead and say okay project dot four coder and this text editor looks for this file to define the rules and the different things that the project's going to look for so you can define um, file types files not to include uh, so on and so forth so i uh, go ahead and make that file now we're inside of project dot four coder uh, for time's sake and i will paste this in the video below but i've already put uh, together a little thing right here so Basically the version one, I'll go through it real quick, is for uh, th this version of 4Coder. So if you don't define this, I believe it assumes version zero. There's more on that in the docs. Um, project name, you can go ahead and say hello world. All right, the patterns, these are the file types that we're looking for. You can see that the star denotes wildcard. So wildcard.c, wildcard.c++, so on and so forth, blacklist patterns. This is saying that any extension that we don't define explicitly, it will not include. Uh, load paths, this says everything in the current directory, recursive true, relative true, OS win. And then now, more exciting, the command list, um, these define custom commands uh, what to do. So when we say build, it is going to run build.bat on OS win, and these are some other options in the program. And then same thing, run, run, run dot bat, which we haven't created yet, but we will. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. Then we combine these customizably to F keys. This is going to be F1 is going to build the program. F3 will run the program. So I can go ahead and save that. And then we're going to make a new file. So control N for new file. Uh, you can see that we have the source there still and project.4 coder in the project.4 coder in the parent directory. 
So the new file is going to be the build file, build.bat. All right, and we come into build.bat. It's just going to be a simple bat file. Echo off. If, um, if the build directory does not exist, make one. So if not exist, build, make dir build, and then push into it. Then the compiler I'm going to use is GCC. I believe it's CL by default, but I'm going to go ahead and specify GCC. Back out of the current directory. Oh, yeah, I forgot the forward slashes or backslashes on Windows. A little weird. Um, source main.c. Uh, so what this is saying is go into build, but then to compile, go back out and then go into the source file and compile main.c. And then we're going to output main.c as main.exe. Um, so main.exe is going to end up in the build folder as a result. And then we can pop the. All right, that looks good. We're going to save. And one last new file is going to be run.bat. So that's what we need to do next. Run.bat. All right. And for run.bat, all we need to do is run that. So we just say echo off. Push the build. This is saying go into our build directory, run main.exe, and pop D. Good. So now when we go into the main directory here, um, this should have everything we need. So I don't know if we need to load the project with Alt X. Okay, so we do. We load the project, and you can see all the information. It says this is the project file, the patterns, the load paths, and the command list. So that's all set to go. So now when we say F1, we see it built the program here and it exited with code zero. That means it was successful. And if we say F3, there's our program, hello world. So that is a quick tutorial on getting your uh, first four coder project started. Again, um, if we look at the directories that we created in the files, you can see that I have hello world in there. Uh, the, the build file, which was created with our build.bat uh, command that we created, uh, the source file, which holds the main.c, and then the three files that we created in the root directory, the build, the run, and the project.forcoder, which is those settings that tells forcoder what to look for. So I uh, hope you found this useful, and let me know if you have any questions.